What's up guys and welcome to my 100% completion of Cocoon. Now the reviews of this game that I've read are really good and I'm really excited to play this. Even though puzzle games aren't really my you know, favourite style of game to play or genre to play say. So like I said with the reviews I'm really intrigued to play it. Now having a look through this game is roughly going to take two to four hours to complete but then again that's skill based so long it takes to work out the puzzles uh, it will give you 17 achievements in total and that then will give you a gamer score of 1000 now normally we'll break this down into a few phases but we're just going to do one with how short the game is and that is story collectibles and miscellaneous if there is any all in one go so sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Achievement 50 game score off the beaten path for the Eastern Moon Ancestor. So, right, guys, we're coming up to our first boss. We go 35 games called Pathfinder, gift to guide you. Nice. And there's 50 games called Marinas, released the Moon and Sister. And 50 games called Mesh Network, released the Moon and Sister. So we are now coming up to the second boss. Oh. 
Yep. Spinning, it's a bit of a suction he's got going on. Yeah, really pulling on the control. Right, so, just more projectiles again. Yeah, a lot more. graphics of this game are really good. I'm really enjoying it actually. The puzzles aren't too hard. Well there we go. 45 game is called Fundamental Changes, a choice in the matter. Yes as I was saying the puzzles they aren't really hard you know but they're really intriguing of what you need to do to unlock the next part. It's really good. like another ancestor. Oh yes. No achievement. If the game is called End of the Lion, at least the moon ancestor. Right, so I just thought I'd put this out there of what I've been doing. So these are puzzles and to find the puzzles they're normally about they're not far from where you are so in this case it's on the bridge so there's the shapes as you can see and that's what you need to put in to correspond to open up where that you can see like that yellow ball and once you do the right coordinates and the right concept it will drop that yellow ball so if you're struggling to find where the code is it's always around sometimes it could be down the back on rocks you know just it just depends what stage you're at as to where the code is Ancestors. Give that back to you today. Then on this, on day, on this, and there we go. If the game is called Skin Deep, another released Moon Ancestor. Thank <laughs> you. 
Falcon. Right, so there is a moon on set. Is that it? Let's sit there. Yep. That's a moon on set. And that's a 50 game is called Conduit, and it's the moon ancestor. Right, so this is the final boss. I believe. So we've just got to try and get it's not on the green, it regenerates your flying power, but you have to hold the button A down and collect them, that's it.
Coco. really good, it's quite enjoyable, music's great, graphics are really good, the puzzles are good, and there's nothing that's not, you know, not very good, but there's 65 games called This Has Potential, Aim and Fire. So yeah, if you want a game, you know, just to pass the time, because you need something to fill, because something else is coming out that you're waiting for, this is a great game for that. games is what people have said so oh, nice. I mean the, the, the puzzles in this game to get to the next part I've had a lot of thought you know it really is good it really is a good puzzle game Moonshine, but we need to find the code. Just draw this. Ooh, voila! And that is the game as well. And that's the game game is called The Space Between the Stars, released to Moon and Sister. Nice. And another Ancestry Moonshine. And that is the 60 game is called A Perspective on Things, released to Moon and Sister. It looks like we're getting one for every collectible. Which is always nice. It's a little bit confusing, but we can get it to me.
Whoa. And then once you've done these sort of, you know, little mini games, should I say, then you have to uh, push your balls to the end and then you back, hit it again and it comes a bit like ping pong. Hundred games called Daybreak from now until the ages of ages. And this should be the final ancestry move. And there we go, 60 games called Loophole Manupus, Beast and Moon Ancestor.
And there we go guys, 130 gamers called Cosmic, the end is the beginning. This game was absolutely brilliant, I really enjoyed it. So right guys, that's Cocoon done, 100%, all achievements, just double check, 17 out of 17 and a thousand of a thousand. And guys, this game really did surprise me. I mean, I'm not one for the puzzle genre, but sometimes you've just got to step outside the box to experience something a bit different, and this was exactly what that was. So, like I said before, if you're looking for a game because you're waiting on something coming out or you just want something different, this is certainly worth a shot. And with it being on Game Pass as well, it's not going to cost you anything. So with all that said and done guys, once again thank you for watching, really appreciate all the likes and the subs that I've been getting recently on videos, I'm really, like, I can't speak highly of, I don't really know what the word to say, it's like just how happy I am, I mean I obviously thought I'd get two subs for this channel and that one would be my partner because she's just biased and the other one would be my son, but like I'm sitting there with I think roughly 35 followers, or 35 subs in roughly three months and you know I've only just started doing it so I feel I'm doing something right. So once again thank you all for your you know your, your likes and your subscribes and that you're taking the time to watch my videos. So once again thanks very much and as always if you like the video give it a like. If you could subscribe to the channel keep it going that would be great and I'll catch you all in the next one.